as we start the final quarter here in Tallahassee. Three-point difference, 15 minutes remain, and Vinny Testaverde right there, another 200-yard-plus passing day. First down, he's under pressure, and he's sacked for the sixth time this afternoon. Big, big defensive play by Florida State. Lenny Chavers is the man who came in to make the tackle. So the continuing pressure on quarterback Vinny Testaverde is the key for Florida State. Sack number six on the day as we start the fourth quarter. Six sacks for minus 61 yards. Second and 10 from the 49, the give inside. It's Alonzo Highsmith, and he's met immediately at the line of scrimmage. So Miami trailing by three with 14, 12 remaining. And this is what's on the line. The Hurricanes have won eight straight games on the road dating back to last year. They've beaten some biggies. And now they're fighting their hearts out here in their home state against Florida State. Third and 14, the ball on the 47. Testaverde throws deep, has a man, and it's complete. Michael Irvin, was he out of bounds? Yes! He made the catch, he was out of bounds. They'll bring it back. I want to welcome all of those of you who have been watching the Navy game at Notre Dame. We have a great one going here in Tallahassee. Tim Brant and Lee Gross Cup with you. Florida State leads it 24-21. And it's been everything you could possibly imagine with passes, reverses, and a lot of defense here in the second half. Miami in the white has to punt it away. This is Jeff Nagel. We've got 13-37 remaining in the ball game. Deion Sanders takes the ball to the 12-yard line. Well, they started out in a hurry with the scoring schedule. Hassan Jones from Florida State caught an eight-yard touchdown pass from Ferguson right in the very beginning of the ball game. But then Miami came right back with two quick first-quarter touchdowns. Ryan Blades from Miami made both those catches. Here's your scoring summary. Now, if anything does happen to change things out in Notre Dame, then we'll take you back there immediately with Keith and Frank and we'll update you. Second quarter scoring. Oh, what a ball game this has been. Part of the tight end with a 26-yarder. Derek Schmidt picked the field goal for Florida State, 37 yards. Alonzo Highsmith from Miami scored, and that's where we are right now. All setting penalties, so Miami will kick it again. 13-25 remain in this ball game. Fourth and 20, Miami has to kick it. This is Beagles. Deion Sanders is the deep back for Florida State. Signals for a fair catch, and that's where the Seminoles will have the ball. Ohio State has won a big game over Iowa. Upset them. And with 13-13 remaining in the ball game here at Tallahassee, we'll take a timeout with our score. Florida State 24, Miami 21. Ohio State now final is upset number one ranked Iowa 22-13. So the unbeatens, Florida 6-0-1, Penn State 7-0, and Air Force is 8-0. Here it's 24-21, Florida State. Chip Ferguson's the quarterback, he's a freshman. Side to Tony Smith. Tony Smith has eight yards. Right now, let's go back to New York. Here's Jim Lampley. All right, just stay in Tallahassee with Tim. Tim? Okay, Lamps, Florida State. First down, Cletus Jones straight ahead. And Tim, for those who are We're just joined us, we have had a compelling quarterback matchup. Chip Ferguson now 11 of 21 passing, 115 yards, two touchdowns. Vinny Testaverde, 15 of 31, 206 yards and two touchdowns. So the young freshman that we talked about at the top of the show has met the challenge here today going against the redshirt ju junior, Vinny Testaverde. Ferguson on first down, looks deep, throws deep, has a man wide open, and it's complete. Phillip Bryant, number nine, makes the completion deep down in Miami territory. 
listen to this crowd. For the second time, he has connected deep on plays like this. It's Philip Bryant, number nine, running a deep post pattern. He gets in behind Bain, number 18. The ball had, was thrown a little short. If he had thrown that about five yards further, he might have had a touchdown. Ferguson, the freshman. To Bryant, the freshman for the completion. Chip is now 12 of 22, 156 yards. First down on the 34. Incomplete, intended for Hassan Jones. Hassan Jones, number 88, working on Don Ellis, number 29. Quick sideline cut, the ball released before he makes the cut it's thrown a little bit too high and too inside if he had thrown it low and outside he would have had a shot at the ball that's the story of two quarterbacks the freshman going against the redshirt junior quite a performance for an 18 year old who prior to today had not started a division 1a football game second and 10 ferguson drills it it's knocked down Florida State six and one. Miami six and one. And there's more to this game than just the bragging rights of Florida, the recruiting, and everything else that goes along with it. But there are representatives of eight bowl games here today, including the Orange Bowl. And the winner here today would have the inside track to that New Year's Eve game. Bobby Bowden told us that Miami now is in his briar patch. Third and ten, big down for the Seminoles. 11.44 remain. Give inside to Cletus Jones, and he bangs his way down to the 27-yard line. It'll be three yards short of a first. Florida State now will bring on Derek Schmidt, the field goal kicker. Schmidt made a 37-yarder earlier in the game. His longest ever, 54 yards. Extremely consistent. Never missed an extra point. It's long enough, and it's good. A 44-yard kick by Derek Schmidt has made the game 27-21. Miami with 11.07 left. These two clubs have played 28 times in the past, and over that 28-year span, the total point differential is just 22 points. This rivalry started in 1951, and it's been something. Barry Barco kicks off. It'll be J.C. Penny takes it at the five to the 20 as a whole to the 40 across midfield and into Florida State territory J.C. Penny Martin Mayhem made the tackle J.C. Penny the return specialist for the Hurricanes and by the way J.C. Penny is a real name and he has had an impressive catalog here today you see, he makes a little juke step inside, outside, almost breaks it here, and it's number 32, Mayhew. Mayhew will make the tackle along the sideline. It'll be first and 10 at the 47-yard line for Vinny Testaverde and the Miami Hurricanes. Florida State shows blitz. He's under pressure all afternoon. Flags. Testaverde has been sacked six times by the Seminoles. Frustration by Testaverde. Strong arm quarterback physically. Looks a lot like Bernie Kozar. Well over six feet, 210 pounds. Very mobile quarterback. Dead ball, ball start, offense, still first down. The only knock on Testaverde was that he doesn't read defenses as well as Kozar. But Jimmy Johnson says that's false. Quality, I'll tell you that. He's got great feet, super mobility. First and 15, and again, he's under pressure. Here's that mobility. Intercepted. 
and dropped. Stanley Shiver had the ball and dropped it. It was intended for William Smith. Watch the mobility here of Testaverde as he scrambles to his left. He's looking for his tight end, William Smith. He's pressured by Scott, number 83, as he throws on the move. Now, Stanley Shiver, number 37, comes on. Nearly has an interception right there, but drops the football. That's a tough break for the Seminoles. But again, look at the pressure that they continue to put on quarterback Vinny Testaverde. Second and 15 from the 47. Testaverde. A little quick drop pass to Highsmith. There's not much there. Stanley Shiver again was the defender. The ironic thing about this rivalry is that the visiting team usually does very well. Miami winning seven of eight here in Tallahassee. <laughs> Verde 16 for 33 on the evening. Big third down play here. He needs at least 15. Goes deep, has a man. It's complete to Irvin. Still on his feet. And knocked out at the 30. First down, Miami. 10 minutes, two seconds remain. It's 27-21, Florida State. Mike Irvin, number 47, who waited in the shadow of Stanley Shakespeare last season, runs a deep drag in pattern right there. Vintage Testaverde as he hits him right on the numbers. He outraces Williams and Sanders to the sideline for a big gainer for the Canes. A gain of 22. It'll put the ball on the Florida State 30. First down as the war chant again rises. Verde pumps, reloads, wide open. Touchdown, Miami. Michael Irvin was wide open, and he has tied a school record for consecutive games with a touchdown catch. He now has seven touchdown catches. Lead for the first time since the first quarter. We've got 9.55 remaining, and our score, Miami 28, Florida State 27. Had at least five yards on Martin Mayhew. Sealing will now kick off for Miami. And deep for the Seminole. It'll be Keith Ross and Chuck Wells. It'll be Ross at the seven. To the 20, and that's about it. Right now, let's go back to New York. Here's Jim Lampley. Jim with 9.51 remaining in the ball game here. Florida State has the ball first down on the 23. Reverse, Hassan Jones, who's thrown a touchdown pass this year, throws it deep, incomplete. Intended for Phillip Ryan. He can throw it. Well thrown pass by Hassan. This is a tremendous all around athlete. The latest in a line of outstanding wide receivers at Florida State takes the reverse on the move to his left. He's looking deep downfield for his other wide receiver who's on a deep crossing pattern. However, this ball was well uh, covered. They had double coverage there in the secondary. So obviously they knew something about that gadget play. Bobby Bowden is noted for his gadget play. It'll be second and 10 from the 23. Ferguson, play action. As a complete to Tanner Holloman, Holloman loses his feet and gains about four. Holloman went to Tennessee with Kenny, Tony Robinson and probably would have been a starter there. Then he transferred here to Florida State, sat out, no scholarship, and now he's playing in the backfield. Third and five, a very important down now for the Hurricanes. They want to reestablish the momentum of the game, keep the momentum of the game going. If they can get the ball back now, they can do that. Ferguson just a freshman, but he's thrown a lot, of, shown a lot of composure in this ball game. Third and six. The pass overthrown, intended for Hassan Jones. Hassan had a step on Don Ellis. 
Oh, Ferguson's going to be frustrated when he has to watch this on film because Hassan does have a step here on Don Ellis. If he'd taken a little bit more off this ball, I think Hassan might have had a big gainer, possibly a touchdown. We talked about that at the very top of the show. This is a true freshman. He's 18 years old. He's having his first start. Lewis Perry, 41-yard average, kicks it away. And this is Brett Perryman. Gives ground and loses his footing. Keep in mind, Hurricane Juan has just left this part of the country. It has rained all week long, and the field is soggy. 48-yard punt. He loses a yard on the return. This field was more than soggy two days ago. It was a swamp. In fact, they brought a helicopter out here yesterday morning to blow water off the field. The field is in remarkably good shape today for today's game. Florida State secondary. Three sophomores and a freshman working against tremendous quarterback in Vinny Testaverde. First down to give inside to Oliver. And Oliver picks up a good six yards. Here's Jim Lampley again. See Penny here. Flags fly. Testaverde has a man across the middle. It is complete. To Perryman, I do believe, but there is a flag. the spear next to the scoreboard measuring the sound here in Campbell Stadium which now has gotten fairly quiet but it has been deafening in here most of the evening illegal motion offense still second down Michigan State over Minnesota today Lou Holtz goes down in a close one 31 7 Purdue Colorado falls for the second week in a row. Eight minutes and two seconds remain in the ball game here. Test averted to throw on second and nine. Pressure. Test averted a sack for the seventh time. Stanley Scott, Paul McGowan are the men who made the penetration. Test averted numbers on the day. They're going to watch his seventh sack. He takes a seven-step drop here. He's looking to his left. The pressure comes from McGowan, the linebacker. Then he gets an assist from Scott, number 83. Again, take a look. He sets up at seven yards. He's looking to his right first, back to his left. Here comes McGowan. And they are just blowing out the offensive line. And that's been the key for Florida State. Third down in a taxi ride. Teste Verde needs 20 yards. Throws deep. He's got it. Michael Irvin, again on the sidelines, has worked himself free from Deion Sanders. And Testa Verde comes up with the big third down and 20 foot. Now you know why the pro scouts think that Vinny Testa Verde is one of the premier quarterbacks in college football. Possible Heisman candidate next year. Irvin along the sideline. That ball had to be thrown 40 yards. He had to throw a rope. He got it in front of Sanders, number two. So Vinny on the day, 18 of 35, 258 yards, three touchdowns, but he's been sacked seven times. 32-yard gain now, up to the 45, first down Miami. Oliver left side. Clock continues to roll. He picks up five yards. 6.57 remains. 28 7. 28. Florida State trails by one. Arkansas, 30 to 15 over Rice. We'll see Arkansas next weekend here on ABC. Some of the other scores as they continue to come in this evening. 26 21 Houston. Bill Yeoman runs that triple option. Had that quarterback, Danny Davis, Alonzo Smith back in the 70s. Alonzo Blackwell, rather. Second and six for Testa Verde. Completes it to William Smith, his tight end. Testa Verde closing in on the 300-yard mark, his 20th completion in 37 attempts, 293 yards and three touchdowns. That's fortunate because they've had minus yardage rushing. That tells the story right there. 
We're under the six-minute mark. Miami leads by one. It's third and three. The ball on the 48. Testaverde. Complete. William Smith is knocked out of bounds on the 12. So Florida State, which fairly well dominated this game, most of the way. Miami kept it close, close enough to come back and strike late. Testaverde, as we have been saying right along, throws all types of passes under all types of circumstances. He was pressured, but got the ball to his tight end, William Smith, who beats Sanders, number 16, to the outside and takes it before he goes out of bounds. So his numbers continue to improve. He's over the 300-yard mark now. First down at the 12. Plenty of time. Complete again to the tight end, Smith. He's inside the five. Crowd now. Quiets down. Testaverde following, of course, Jim Kelly, who was there in 1979 through 1982. Bernie Kozar quarterbacking the national championship team in 1983. And now Vinny Testaverde, who may wind up being the finest of all Miami quarterbacks. Miami developing a tradition much the same way as BYU with the quarterbacks. Right side, Oliver bangs his way down to the two. It's a good analogy. And close to a first down. Testaverde, 22 of 39, 337 yards, three touchdowns. Testaverde had his best and worst game this year against East Carolina, threw for 385 yards and three touchdowns, but he had six interceptions. There it is, first and goal now, Miami. There are the numbers, the war cry in the background. Florida State fans trying to encourage the defense. What a chore. Everybody in tight. The game is Bratton. Touchdown, Miami. Melvin Bratton with a touchdown. Holding against the Hurricanes. Wow, what a break. What a remarkable effort by Bratton on the touchdown. I haven't seen a back fly like this in a long time. Bratton, number five, starts out on the sweep. Now watch him hurl his body through the air over Mayhew, number Holding. 32. Offense. Three yards he down. traveled in the air. Here's another angle up. This is going to be negated, but watch this superlative effort by number five, Melvin Bratton, as he goes wide on the sweep. Watch how he goes over Mayhew and breaks the plane of the goal line with the football for an apparent touchdown and call back. 4.31 remains. Gets to Birdie on the right side. Gets back to the 10. Gets to Birdie, the ball carrier. Mayhew It'll bring up second and goal from the 10. All important number is at the top of the screen. 427. The time remaining. Just as exciting as the scoreboard indicates, if not more so. Testaverde, second and goal throws across the middle. Incomplete. There's a flag. Eric Williams, the defender, may have been riding high in the saddle. We'll wait for the call and see if he was on Perryman's back.
Can't fault him for the effort. He was right in the receiver's hip pocket. Gave him the inside lane. Tried to take the pass away. Here's the call. Holding against the Seminole. Some game, huh? Can't remember a game when so much continuous action and so much fan support. Pickoff or crossing pattern here by the Hurricanes. Williams apparently apparently called for holding. Holding against the defense before the ball was thrown. That's an automatic first down. I think it's something that we did not see before the ball was thrown. Well, Gil Gelke, the referee, has explained it nicely. It'll be first and goal now at the five for Miami. The give inside. Oliver bangs his way down to the one. Oliver, Williams, Highsmith, and Bratton all contributing as running backs today, as we said they would. Miami very multiple in their offensive schemes. They've showed us a lot of looks today. And, of course, Testa Verde has utilized all of his tools at the quarterback position. The noise level in this stadium all afternoon has been deafening. A little bit quieter now with Miami about to score. Testa Verde on the naked roll and a lose a yard. Stanley Shiver and Eric Williams were the defenders who stayed home, covered their territory, didn't take the fake and made the play. Shiver had that one scouted. Vinny has done that before. As we talked about, he's a little bit more mobile than Kozar. The comparisons have been obvious. But this time, Shiver is in perfect position. He doesn't give him the outside. He forces him back in, and Williams gets an assist. Makes it third and goal from the two. Testa Verde to the corner. Touchdown, Miami. Brett Perriman makes the catch number 33. Testa Verde continues to assault the record books. Throws the touchdown. And with 3.06 remaining in the ballgame, Miami has taken a seemingly commanding lead. Well, when you got one-on-one -on -one coverage like this, why not? Perriman goes to work on the outside. He's working on number 17, Williams. He gets a step on him. You talk about perfect timing on a pass. Testa Verde had that ball in the air before he came out of his final move. Greg Cox on to attempt the extra point. And it's good. Well, up to the corner. Watch how quickly Vinny releases the ball here. Now, the ball is in the air or the receiver goes out of his final cut. Brett Perriman with a touchdown. So with 3.06 remaining, Miami leads 35-27 in Tallahassee. The junior on the right, Testa Verde, has done his job and put Miami in the lead. The freshman on the left now has to come on. They need a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie this game. Compelling quarterback matchup that we talked about and documented at the top of the show. Testa Verde now winning that duel. He is 23 of 40, 339 yards, and four touchdowns on the day. More importantly, Miami has outscored Florida State 21 to 3 in this half after being down 24 to 14 at halftime. That's Mark Seeley. He'll kick it away from Miami. It'll be Ross, four yards deep. And he's going to bring it out to the 15, across the 20 to the 23-yard line. Goes Ross. Coming up next week at play. And we've got a tie football game. There he is. He's the freshman. This is his first start ever. Ferguson on first down from the 23. And the ball's dropped, and they get it back. So on the little screen pass over the middle to Tony Smith, they lose two yards. Cletus Jones, being alert, got the football back. Tried to set up the middle screen, and it was a pretty good call. Can't 
run without the football. Heard that so many times. Florida State has three timeouts remaining. Miami two. Eight points separate the two teams. We've got 228 remaining. Ferguson to throw. Incomplete. It was intended for Philip Bryant, number nine. Well thrown ball, and Bryant certainly had a shot at it. Pressure again, however, on the young 18-year-old freshman. Coming from number 95 from the Hurricanes. Again, that's Kevin Fagan, their star who's been on the injured list. There's Fagan right there. And it's Bryant on the outside running a deep curl in route. He's sandwiched in between Brown and Blades. Brings up an all-important third and 12 from the 21. Pressure. Ferguson can't get it away. So Kevin Fagan, who entered the game late, and we've talked about him. He's been their star player who's been on the injured list and has come back strong now. So with Fagan back in there, the front four of the Hurricanes is very impressive. And they have really applied the pressure here in the second half to quarterback Chip Ferguson. Lewis Berry is on to punt it away. Barry's had a pretty good afternoon. He averages 47 yards in this ball game here today. This was a high spiraling punt. There's no deep back for Miami now. They'll just let it hit. And it gets a Florida State bounce. Down inside the 10. And that could prove to be a pretty big little thing right there. No deep back. Ball rolls down inside the 10. 67 yard punt. We've got 143 left. One minute 43 seconds remain here. Miami with the football trying to melt that clock leading by eight. The winner here today with eight bowl representatives including the Orange Bowl has a pretty good shot has to be considered a contender for the Orange Bowl. Penn State as Jim Lapley said definitely a contender still unbeaten. And Miami now just trying to hold on to the football Oliver the ball carrier there. Timeout Florida State. Let's talk about that bowl situation for a while. It is a little bit early, but what a job Joe Paterno has done at Penn State. Boy, he's had some barn burners this year. Well, remember, they came into this season with an unproven quarterback, went down to take Maryland on an opening day, upset the Terrapins. They were the underdog going down to College Park. And they've been rolling ever since, not really blowing people out, but just playing consistent, no turnover type football and winning. This is the quarterback comparison, and we've been talking about this right from the top. Vinny Testaverde now well over 300 yards, four touchdowns. Chip Ferguson, impressive in his debut as a starter, 18 year old freshman. Not a redshirt freshman, a true freshman, has thrown for 158 yards. Two touchdowns, but he suffered two interceptions that have been costly. However, he's quite a talent. Testa Verde has not thrown an interception now in 102 attempts over the last four games. But an admirable job done by Chip Ferguson. <laughs> One thirty-four remaining, second and eight. The ball on the twelve. Yeah, right side. Oliver again. Not much there. Paul McGowan came up and made the tackle. And Florida State takes another timeout. So they'll have one left. Still no one leaving the stadium. And in 18 years that I've been covering football for ABC, I haven't seen fan involvement like this in a long time. Big third and eight play. When we come back, we've got 124 remaining. So the stage is set for the final act of the drama that has become an interstate rival between these two. Third down, eight. Tested verdict across the middle, incomplete. Now what makes that so important is the fact that in the first half, Miami had a similar situation. Brian Smith, the snapper, had a low snap. Jeff Beagles, the punter for Miami, couldn't get the punt off, it was blocked, and Florida State scored a touchdown. 
Google could come on again now to punt it away. Smith is still the snapper. He's averaged only 37 yards and seven punts today. There's still a minute 19 left. And Florida State can Ten men it. up there. Ten men on the line. Here they come. Almost blocked. He gets it off. Sanders now will drift. It's a beauty. They take it all the way back inside the 40, and there's nowhere to go. Good coverage by Miami. A 48-yard punt by Jeff Beagles. So he really comes through in the clutch. Ten-man rush. Watch how quickly Beagles gets this ball off. And a good snap. One, two, a good snap. The ball is out of there. And 48 yards it goes from the line of scrimmage. Pressure punting by Beagles, who's had his problems today. Jesse Solomon was the Florida State player that came through and almost got a handle on it. 109 left, first and 10, ball on the 43. Florida State needs a touchdown. Pressure on Ferguson. Fumbles the football, Miami's got it. Tremendous effort on the defense. Ferguson on a scramble play here is trying to look downfield for a deep play. Watch John McVay, number 93, get the hit. And it's covered by George Myra Jr., the son of the former great Miami quarterback and the leading tackler on the team from his middle linebacker position. So a frustrating experience for Chip Ferguson, who has had a good day in his debut as a starter, but now has suffered his third turnover of the day, two interceptions and one fumble. Meyer is the hero for recovering it, but what a play by John McVay. He applied the pressure first and chased Ferguson out of the pocket, but then he didn't quit. He kept following him all the way down, tracked him down from behind, and forced the fumble. And there's your final from South Bend. Spectacular play by John McVay, a senior out of Miami, Florida. Well, we talked about George Pyra Jr. a moment ago and his father, the great quarterback, back in the early 60s. I was with him very briefly in training camp with the San Francisco 49ers in 1964. George Sr. now in the pizza business. And his son is an outstanding linebacker. This ABC Sports exclusive has been brought to you by Nissan. Builders of technologically advanced cars and trucks for over 50 years. For drivers who demand quality. 54 seconds remain. All Miami has to do now is close the door and lock it. Nesta Verde drops down. No timeouts remain for Florida State. And the clock continues to roll. Well, he played admirably. Did Ferguson, the freshman. He did make a couple of turnovers, and they were costly. For Testa Verde's. Boy, what a spectacular pro he is going to make. But don't forget, he's got one more year with the Hurricanes, and he told me yesterday that he definitely will be back for his senior year. And we mentioned the Heisman. He certainly will be a leading candidate in 1986. Following in the tradition, Jim Kelly, most valuable player in the USFL, out of Miami. Ernie Kozar now in the National Football League, out of Miami. And now this guy, Vinny Testaverde. Hill, our statistician, and Kelly Hayes, our research and spotter, for doing a great job here tonight, as everybody did. What an exciting game. The final score, Miami 35, Florida State 27. Well, stay tuned now for updated highlights and scores of today's football action on College Football Scoreboard. Travel arrangements made through and a promotional fee paid by United Airlines. United flies more people to Hawaii than any other airline. Nobody knows Hawaii like United. For Lee Gross Cup, this is Tim Brandt saying so long. Presentation of ABC Sports. In the fourth quarter, tremendous throw. You didn't get a chance to see it. Watch Vinny Testaverde hit Michael Urban with a 30-yard touchdown pass. Seventh straight game in which Urban has caught a touchdown pass. And this one gave Miami the victory as it put them on top 28-27. They scored again and held on to beat Florida State 35-27. I'll be back with as many scores as possible after this. 
Take light beer for Miller. Now there's lots of light beers out there saying they're less filling. Heck, that was the easy part. The hard part is brewing a light beer that tastes great. That's why light's always brewed only with the finest ingredients. To let all that great beer taste come through for guys like you and me. The taste that's made light beer for Miller, America's favorite light beer. Hey, I always thought it was easy opening cans. <laughs> this is...